All right, this is Darren Spiker from Treasure Life Family Farms. Today we are going to change the oil on uh, 2008 Toyota Sienna minivan. It's got a V6, I think it's like a 3.6 liter is my memory. It's got 182,000 miles on it, <clears throat> so we've probably changed the oil 35 times roughly, right, right around every 5,000 miles. So we've done a lot. <clears throat> and we've got all the tools figured out, but today I even want to include, uh, we're going to build a tool for the oil filter to take it off. We're going to try and weld something up for that. Uh, when you see what we're dealing with, it'll make a little more sense why. These uh, vans come with a cartridge filter instead of a canister filter. So basically it's an oil filter that doesn't have the metal body on the outside. And the idea I understand is that's uh, more environmentally friendly. And if you've ever changed an oil, changed oil on one of these vans, you know that there's nothing environmentally friendly about the whole thing at all. First of all, it takes uh, six quarts of oil. If you've ever had a 1980s Ford pickup with a big engine in it that took five quarts, you're thinking, why? Why does this little thing need six quarts of oil? So right there, uh, environmentally not friendly. And then when you change with a canister filter, usually you can do it without much of a mess. This thing is a mess every time. There's just no no good way to do a nice, reasonably clean job about it. So we'll kind of walk through that and then we'll build our little tool that we're gonna build for that canister, which probably means this van will be gone by the time we need another oil change. Because as soon as you build the tool after 35 oil changes, then uh, you'll never need it again. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so we're underneath this van. We've got a little bit of a light on, and a couple of things we're seeing. That right there, this is the oil filter canister. We'll take that off. And uh, go through a little bit about that. They designed this plug so that you can stick a Three, it's ratchet in it. This little plug comes out, and then there's a part that comes with the oil filter every time. Again, environmentally not friendly, a little plastic piece that's made out of oil. And then back here, that's our drain plug. That should be a 14 if my memory's any good. Yeah. Just a few things here. Yes, that is. It's 14. I'm going to flip my little ratchety wrench over here. There we go. Those generally are not that tight. Catch pan under there, which blocks our light. Just take that out by hand now. And we'll drain the main oil. There we go. Not exactly sure how many miles this has on it, but it's time, so we'll get her done. And we'll be back to take the uh, oil filter off here in just a minute. All right. So this is the uh, oil filter canister. You stick a 3 8 ratchet in there and see how the little, uh, it's just basically a plug that comes out here. Once that's loose, you'll be good finger tight. Steady your camera, but man, there's not a lot of oil on it, but again, you're gonna need a paper towel at this point. You can have your drip pan underneath of it because it's gonna drip. Inside the box, it's going to come with a little plastic gizmo like this. And that plastic thing is designed, in this case, every filter is different. Some of them screw up into this hole. This one is just a jam it up in there. And the idea is that the oil is just going to come out of here. It's going to empty the filter. And it's almost oh, impossible to get it to jam up in there in the first place. And then it falls out like that. And I guess that's it. So, 
then it's supposed to drain the filter and then you won't get oil all over yourself except for you will it's gonna take forever for that filter to try to drain and then as soon as it tries to drain you'll take it off and get oil all over everything one more time again just put a canister filter on these things I don't know who's a Toyota designing this garbage but it ain't much it's a terrible terrible thing so we'll let this drain then we'll be back to uh, take the canister off and I'll show you how we do that old school and then the one that we build on the welder hopefully will uh, hang on the wall and forever be my new friend at doing Toyotas alright so we're pretty much done dripping up here Hopefully our camera guy can get in there and see that. This is a its own disaster. And you can also see it pull that ring out, so we gotta remember that. You gotta put the new one back if the old one comes out. And we're gonna screw this, uh, we're gonna screw this plug back up in there, but you know, again, like I say, that thing just took that ring away, so why not use the new one, I guess. So here's the new small one. We gotta Punches up into the into the little groove up here where the ring goes. It feels too big, but it goes in there, I guess. There's that, so it's up in there. We left the heater running this time, so hopefully that background noise isn't picking up too much. Uh, we'll try to turn that off for the future times when we start the camera. We do want that. Uh, snugged up enough so it's not going to leak and it mostly hits right there you don't want to crank on that bad boy and then here's how we've been taking the canister off for the last decade or more grab this big wrench back here and how that works is I've got these giant pair of uh, we call them water pump pliers I don't know uh, channel locks but I don't know what these are called but we spread them out not quite all the way and what we got to do is grab these two tabs on the on each side of here okay and then normally I've got to put a a big wrench on this to get enough gravity to make her move but this is actually moving this time real nice without any extra which makes me wonder if I actually got it tight last time but in any case this one's loose enough to go this time and you start unscrewing this and it's got a really big long thread of, set of threads on it by the time you get done, there'll be oil all over everything, so have a lot of paper towels ready. We just kind of want to flip this down into the... No, I didn't do too bad that time. We want to kick this canister off the cartridge out into the oil catch pan. My oil's not really hot this time because we had the van inside and we didn't want to lose our heat in the garage to go take it out and warm it up and uh, so our oil's not hot this time maybe that's why we're having a little easier time getting this canister off as well as not quite as messy this is super messy when it's hot but even then still got to wipe all this stuff up you're using a bunch of paper towels let's just set this down for a second now we're gonna wipe up this so oil hanging off this whole thing up here. Everything's a, just a giant mess with this whole concept of saving the environment with this canister. And now we'll put the new filter, which is just this. We're gonna stick it up in there. I thought that catches. No, we gotta put it in the canister. That's where it catches, sorry put it in the canister put the canister back up there but we're not going to put that on there this time right now because we're going to go weld up a wrench we're going to manufacture a wrench that'll work for this I've been wanting to do that for years 
So let's go do that. All right, besides having a uh, very talented person running the camera, we're doing a good job today. And uh, this is the canister for the oil uh, filter for the 2008 Toyota Sienna. And I've normally, like I showed you in the earlier part, use these uh, big pliers to grab this every time and then this time it was actually came off easy enough, but normally I need a giant wrench in there to get this to move. And it's just a pain. I usually have to find these pliers wherever I left them last time. And then uh, it's just not that great. So I've been dreaming about building this tool for 35 oil changes in a row, and today might be the day. It's kind of looking good. And so what we're going to do is take this big long bolt and... Uh, we're going to uh, weld that bolt to this little chunk of metal I cut off here. And after we get that welded down, we're gonna come back up here. And we're gonna weld another couple bolts coming down that'll catch these ears just perfectly. So then we can stick a wrench on here and uh, turn this canister on and off every time we need to. So I'm not going to do a lot more filming than that on this. I don't wanna film the welding. It might be uh, some reason to film uh, a little bit more about the manufacturer of this but mostly that's the plan and so we're gonna start welding and then uh, uh, show you what this looks like when we get done with it and then uh, show you how it works when we put the canister back on the van stay tuned uh, that's how it works the plan is I believe this is a size for a 916 wrench so if that is all it needs that'll be great and if we need more beef we're gonna stick an end wrench over here, across there, and give it a, give it a pull that way. I don't think I'll need that though. Let's, let's see. Again, we're gonna put our filter back in our cartridge. Cartridge back in the in the, in the uh, what's this thing called? Canister. We're gonna turn it on here. We're going pretty much hand tight. Uh, I don't know if we're all the way yet, but we want to demonstrate our, our little gizmo here anyways. So here's this. We're going to put it in there right where it goes, just like that. And a little 916 wrench on here. Whoops. Sorry to demonstrate how this works. go too far off there so you can actually turn it even better by hand now even with that thing on there that's pretty much it right there it's tight but just for fun and demo purposes you could turn it with the wrench a little bit that's it that's all it does I welded my little chain link on here so I can hang this on the wall now we'll have it for next time and I already put the plug back in so we're Pretty well set. All right, uh, we are at the point of putting the new oil back in. So 